Welcome to this Pride of Dakota feature. If you are one of those people who enjoy a good bottle of wine with your meal or love to give wine as a gift to your friends and family, chances are you have questions from time to time on what to buy. With so many varieties, it can be difficult to choose the right wine for the right occasion. In this feature, we'll visit with Pride of Dakota member Maple River Winery about some things you'll want to consider when buying your next bottle of wine. Maple River Winery is a North Dakota-based winery started in 2002 by Greg and Susan Kempel in Castleton, North Dakota. With over 200 locally made products available, they have something for every taste. Owner Greg Kempel has joined us in the studio. Greg, welcome. Hey, how you doing, Scott? Great. All right, so I'm looking for a bottle of wine for someone else, and I don't know what to bring. I mean, I, maybe I'm heading to a party or I'm having some people over. I don't know what kind of wine they like. Where do I start? What I always like to do is advocate for North Dakota wine. Uh, our winery, we do a lot of suggesting and rec rec recommending. The number one thing we recommend is uh, something local. Okay. Uh, we have five different wines I, I like to recommend usually. Uh, the first one we recommend is our strawberry rhubarb wine. It's a little sweeter. It tastes like strawberry rhubarb pie in a bottle. Plus, it was named the best fruit wine in the world in 2010. So oh, wow. that's usually one we usually recommend. Another one that really stands out is our honey apple. Uh, I always like to say the reason being is North Dakota is number one in honey production. It's a semi-sweet white wine, very uh, well received all over. And of course, some people like something a little different, someone like a little drier wine. We send them towards like a Dakota cherry wine, which is made with uh, Bally cherries and some Nanking cherries thrown in for some unique flavor. That one is... Uh, very popular. It's a drier, more of a dinner wine, something that everybody can enjoy. Uh, of course, if you like something real dry, I usually send them towards like a wild plum wine, which is, we leave it real dry, but it's uh, real light, uh, very nice sipping wine. Then of course, you can't go wrong with our raspberry wine. It's a little sweeter. It's like getting a mouthful of fresh raspberries with each sip. Oh, that's excellent. You know, and a lot of people, when they think of wine, they're always assuming just grapes. And, and here you are producing from a wide variety of the fruits. Um, you know, what would be a good safe bottle, you know, because let's say that I don't know if their tastes run dry or they want something fruity. What would be, you know, what would you recommend as maybe kind of that safe bottle of wine to? What I always recommend is, you know what, you're going to go there and you're going to have something local. And that's what people are really getting into. I, I always relate it to, you know, eating steaks. You want something, you want to know where the steak came from. It's uh, flavorful, wonderful. And I always recommend like a strawberry, the strawberry rhubarb. You can't go wrong because, you know what, if they like a drier wine, this is going to be a great wine to have after dinner as a dessert wine or even before dinner. So you cannot go wrong with a strawberry rhubarb wine. So let me ask you this then. How do I know what kind of wine to serve with my meal? You know, they always say that you serve a white with, uh, you know, this sort of meat or a red with this sort of meat. Do you have any suggestions there? I tell people the honest truth. If you like drinking uh, our strawberry rhubarb wine, then enjoy that with your meal. Regardless of uh, what you're eating. Exactly. Because if I say, no, you have to drink this wine, whether it be a white wine or a red wine, if you don't like it, you go buy it. Your, your significant other says, well, why did you buy it? Well, so-and-so said so, and you don't enjoy it. Well, you're never going to ask my opinion again. Sure. So, so I always say is if you enjoy it, you know, this is what you should enjoy with your meal. Well, speaking of significant others, you know, I'm sure that you've had those comments of, yeah, but my, my spouse doesn't drink wine. I mean, do you, do you have any, uh, have you ever converted anyone or do you ever have any suggestions for how to introduce them to maybe wine? This is always the exciting part of our shows and wherever we're doing sampling. Uh, we hear that question a lot. And the best thing is, is we, we sample like our strawberry rhubarb wine or a rhubarb wine and we say, yeah, it tastes just like rhubarb pie in a bottle or a strawberry rhubarb uh, pie. It's not as heavy. It's not as thick. It's nice and refreshing. And you wouldn't believe the smiles on the face. You know, you get some some guys in their 70s that have always drank beer in their life. And, you know, the you could tell success when he looks at her and he says, yeah, I'll drink that. And I will speak from experience. I am typically a beer drinker, but when I tasted your strawberry rhubarb wine, I am not a wine drinker. But, however, I would drink that with a meal. Exactly, and that's what's the best part about it is is sampling it. That's one of the keys is sampling it, plus discussing, you know, this isn't going to be something for everybody, but it's something that, you know what, everybody's going to be able to enjoy it. Greg, if someone has more questions about wine or, or what you offer, um, what's the best way to get a hold of you? 
whatever they feel comfortable with, whether they email me at greg at mapleriverwinery.com or they can call me at 701-347-5900. You check us out on our website, northdakotawinery.com. And of course, we're on Facebook and Twitter, facebook.com slash mapleriverwinery and twitter.com slash mapleriverwine. Excellent. And they can always stop in the store and uh, sample some of the wares right there too as well. Tasting rooms open year-round, Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. In Castleton, North Dakota, just stop by and ask for Maple River Winery. Thank you, Scott. For more information on this Pride of Dakota featured member, or to find other feature podcast episodes, visit our website at prideofdakota.com or join the conversation at facebook.com slash prideofdakota.